Hello friends, Dr. Marta Perez here. Welcome back to my channel where we cover everything about pregnancy and birth and beyond. Today's episode was inspired by my own feelings this week in my pregnancy and is going to be on the aches and pains of pregnancy. So if you are pregnant and something is hurting you, definitely stay tuned for this episode. Okay, so honestly, I had other ideas for an episode this week, but because I have been experiencing really bad pain this week as a part of my pregnancy, I said, you know what? I need an episode going over like all the common discomforts of pregnancy that my patients tell me about and that I've honestly felt myself in pregnancy. So I am an OBGYN doctor, but I am not your OBGYN doctor. And this video is meant to be educational and fun, but this never replaces talking with your doctor or midwife about your symptoms. They can evaluate you in person. This isn't medical advice. The first one we're gonna talk about is probably the most common type of pain or discomfort in pregnancy, and that is round ligament pain. So your round ligament is is sort of a ligament, but usually ligaments connect two different bones and this doesn't connect bones. All right, so the round ligament, my uterus is about up here right now, starts at kind of the corner of the uterus. It goes kind of down and around right here. See where the abdomen connects to the thigh and then goes into the labia. So often you feel this shooting pain that just kind of loops down and around into your labia. So that's why it's called lightning crotch. Wonderful, right? Oftentimes people have round ligament pain when they're changing position quickly, going from sitting to standing, turning over in bed. There's nothing to really do to like prevent round ligament pain or to treat it. It's just something our bodies do as the positional changes and growth of the uterus and pregnancy proceed. So unfortunately not a lot to do for it. Um, usually the pain is very short lived, but it can really feel like lightning. So it's not fun. The next one is pubic symphysis dysfunction. So this is the one that I've been struggling a lot with this week, and I'm gonna use my friend the pelvis to show you. So this is your pelvic bone, and it, as much as you think it wanna sit like this, like a bowl, it actually sits more like this in our bodies. We can usually feel these in the front of our hips. This is our pubic bone down here. And so as you can see, I'm gonna, even though anatomically it's more like this and our spine comes up, I'm gonna show you by putting it this way. And so if you can see, there's actually, the whole pelvis is made up of multiple different bones with joints. And the pubic bone actually has a joint right here. This is the pubic symphysis. Here I am standing up, as you can see, my pubic symphysis is actually right here, so very low. So if I were to grab the model, this is how things are in our bodies. This is how the pelvis looks. During pregnancy, because of the hormonal changes that relax our ligaments and our joints, this can become loosened, which can cause instability and movement in this joint when it's supposed to stay stable. And that's what's so painful. So the good news about pubic symphysis dysfunction is that it doesn't mean anything negative for your pregnancy. But the bad news is, as I know, it can be very painful to walk, to do anything that has um, an uneven shift of balance. I think particularly holding my toddler, which I primarily do on the right side, even though I should do on both sides, has exacerbated it. Although there are things we can do to try to make it better, which I'll talk about in a second, as the pregnancy progresses, it's hard to rehab something when the stress is increasing. So you still have weeks to go in your pregnancy, your body's still changing, carrying the extra weight in your belly of your gravid uterus and baby. So sometimes we can fix the pain. Sometimes you can make it a little better, but sometimes it it may not be something that you can fix before delivery. A lot of people say they feel relief for the pain like almost immediately after delivery, but for other people, it may take some weeks or even up to three months. The treatment for this is going to be physical therapy. So being evaluated and treated by a pelvic physical therapist who often has expertise in pregnancy can give you exercises, maneuvers, things that prevent the pain from exacerbating and strengthen the body supporting muscles to try to make the pain better are really the way to go. So. I always refer to physical therapists when my patients have this pain because it really can be pretty severe and it's been pretty severe for me. <laughs> okay, the next one is sacroiliac joint pain. So I'm gonna get my pelvis again. This is the sacroiliac joint is right in here. So kind of right on this side here. Kind of see it from this perspective too. Okay, on me, the sacroiliac joint is about here. So it's in the low back, but it's not right in the center. It's a little bit off to the side. And that's kind of where my sacroiliac joint is, about right here. This pain is often dull and achy, although certainly can be sharp too. And it's for a similar reason of symphysis pubic diastasis. This joint has a little more laxity. There's an imbalance in our bodies. 
and that can really cause this pain. The treatment also is the same. So physical therapy can help evaluate and treat the underlying discomfort by strengthening the muscles around it. But the same thing as pubic symphysis pain, sometimes all you can do is make the pain bearable until delivery. The next really common pain is called sciatica. Sciatica is a entrapment of the sciatic nerve. Sciatica pain typically hurts from kind of the back through the butt and shoots down the leg. And so it, that shooting pain down the outside of the leg is really common for sciatica. So sciatic nerve pain comes from the sciatic nerve being entrapped somewhere along that line. And often it's, ex it's nerve pain. So it's this like severe shooting pain that goes from the back through the butt and then down the outside of the leg. Usually it's only on one side or the other. We have natural asymmetries in our body that are made worse by our daily life things like driving, which we primarily use our right leg for, things like carrying other children, which most people primarily do on one side or the other, even though we should try to do it on both. So usually people have one-sided sciatica, though certainly you can get it on both sides. Sciatica also, I know I sound like a broken record, <laughs> but it may not be something we can fully fix during the pregnancy, but with some physical therapy, evaluation and treatment there, they can ameliorate the effects of the sciatica and hopefully get you to a point where you're more comfortable and ultimately most people improve after delivery. Okay, we've talked so much about back pain and it makes sense, right? Because the biggest stress on the body in the musculoskeletal system of pregnancy is the fact that you have this rapidly growing uterus that is all kind of in the front and lower aspects of the body. It changes our center of gravity, which really throws off our whole body. It makes our core muscles a little less effective and weaker. So that's why that so many of these effects are kind of in the pelvis and in the back, because all of these places are interconnected to each other. And when there's stress on one, there's stress on the other. I hope this episode was helpful. Um, for those of you who are pregnant, please comment below about what your main symptom was. I did an episode a few weeks ago about differences between the first and second pregnancy, and I can honestly say they're so different. In my first pregnancy, I really rarely had any discomforts, but this pregnancy, I get more round ligament pain. My pubic symphysis pain has been really bad. So it just goes to show you that, you know, all bodies are different, all pregnancies are different. And although pregnancy can be painful and uncomfortable, most of these conditions are benign, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do anything about them because if they're affecting your quality of life, you deserve to be comfortable and feel well in pregnancy. So please talk to your doctor or midwife for advice. Get checked out to make sure that there's not something more serious going on, things like preterm labor contractions, etc. and hopefully get into a physical therapist. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss my videos every Friday on pregnancy and birth and my own pregnancy. And I will see you next week.